Hello everybody, it's the YouTube Optimus Person Web Series guy, TV. Um, talking about Marky D123, and this is a very, very short review. Extremely short. Um, when I when it comes to like wanting to write a lot of reviews, I I don't. It doesn't take that long for me to just bang out a couple reviews. Just, just go through it, especially when it's like talking about like a YouTube channel. And in this case, it's a uh, Marky D one two three. Marky D here does videos about wrestling, and I love his opinions. Go check him out. I mean, there's not, it's not much else to say uh, when I'm typing, but when I'm talking, I can say a little bit more and explain just exactly what it is about him that sets himself apart from other uh, like wrestling content creators and stuff. Um, we talked about uh, tap out corner before, I believe. I like how much passion he has. Um, I haven't really talked about what culture, but what culture is... Uh, I, I think I have talked about what culture because of uh, Adam. If Adam books or whatever. He does, he does the movies. He does the... Um, he, did the he did the movies, did the TV shows. And then he made another one for um, Parts of Unknown. Um, and now he's gone again. Like, holy shit. Um, Marky D sets himself apart because of his personality... British dude. Is he British? Oh shit. Um and he the the main videos that I watch from him are called Ring of the Hawk. Um R O R O H. So like Ring of Honor, Ring of the Hawk. And uh he says Hawk he says Hawk Hogan instead of Hulk Hogan. Um I think that's the, the joke. I don't even know the origin story, but I know he's like if you know a wrestler who can do the J O B to the H A W K any night, any day, haha. Shove their name in the comment section, Jack. And then like they have like he has like a grade card and it, he follows short runs of uh certain wrestlers. Like there's for example, Rey Mysterio and Lucha Underground. Uh I forgot what the, the limit is, like thirty or less matches. So if they had 30 or less matches within their time being with that company, um, he can grade that. Some um, are in ECW for a little bit, um, some in NWA, all over the place. WWE they had a little bit here and there. There's one, uh, Braden Walker, that's a really good one. Um, I don't think I have like a favorite of, of his that like stands out to me right now. He had a Ronda Rousey video. And it really reminded me of, like, she wasn't shit when she first started. Um, the way I said that. She wasn't a shit wrestler. She was sh she, <laughs> she was, she was, you know what I mean? She, she was, her name, she was the shit. She wasn't terrible in ring. Um... But then she was. And then she was like, oh, this is, oh, this is kind of. But then she turned heel, which was really exciting. Um, really exciting. Kind of, kind of it, was, it was nice. And then she left. Um, and, and the way she was playing, like, a heel character but not really being a heel. Like, she was dead serious. Like, I fucking hate wrestling fans. Kind of killed a lot of shit and then she left got injured and then she came back years later and won the women's rumble and people were like oh like she it was rough that run wasn't that good but i really like that video and um, that one stands out to me there's more too just go check him out um i had him on, um i had i was subscribed to him on patreon for a little bit too um but money's tight in this uh shit ass bitch ass economy so um Go check him out. You know, as always, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, if you like wrestling, um, go check go check him out. And he always, he loves, there's a big, like, love-hate relationship with Jeff Jarrett. So, it's you know, he calls him Slap Nuts. I think, like, Jim Cornette came up with that name. Someone, well, no way, there was, like, a fucking, like, it was in wrestling. Was it WCW or WWF? Which one was it? WWF, WCW? Somebody called him Slap Nuts on air and then it stuck and then like that's kind of his legacy he's slap nuts he's like oh he's like a wild slap nuts appears and then the pokemon music plays that dump 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 and then 
fucking Jeff Jarrett shows up as a Pokemon sprite, and he's like, Double J, Jeff Jarrett. It's so fucking funny. Every time, I'm like, okay, this is pretty funny. It's like, it, even in a video, has nothing, you don't think he would ever show up. Here he is. You're like, how the fuck did he show up? What the fuck? He really is a wild, a wild slap nuts. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, take care.